Okay, let's see how this shit goes. All right, good morning, everyone. This is the third broadcast on June 22nd, 2020 at 650. And what I wanted to talk about is the shit that these Hollywood and hip hop moguls are on are totally counterproductive. And we don't need to be having all of these magazines and publications printed. We just need to consolidate our efforts and concentrate our strength. And also, you guys got community organizing fucked up. Because if it's not making no money for you, y'all not doing it at all. And y'all should be the main ones doing it because y'all hog up all the fucking resources. Ice Cube, P. Diddy, Rick Ross, Joe Crack, T.I., and a couple of more. Y'all at the top, y'all have all of this fucking money at y'all disposal, yet and still, y'all wait until 2020 to come out. Let's see what they saying. Okay, Ice Cube's joined Charlemagne and Diddy against Biden Democrats. Let's hold the black vote hostage until there's a black agenda we're satisfied with. League founder Ice Cube is introduced at the Big Three Basketball League debut June 25th, 2017 in New York. That's the photo that they have up there. On May 24th, Ice Cube tweeted, hold the black vote hostage until one of them comes with a black agenda that we are settled with. And what I want to say is I have already implemented something for African Americans, but the fraternities and sororities don't like me and stopping it. And this is why I contested Dr. Norman Francis from having a street named after him because they'll pass up Ellis Marcellus and they'll pass up uh, Alan Toussaint. And that just goes to show you that they are fucked up here in New Orleans. They'll say, yeah, Louisiana is a fun place and friendly place. And at the same time, they helping these billionaires like Gail Benson steal your shit after just telling you Louisiana is one of the friendliest places. And also, they had hashtag this article with hashtag fuck you pay me. And what I want to say is to Democrats and Republicans, fuck you pay me. And that pardon attorney in Washington, D.C. sure knows how to pardon white folks faster than black folks. I haven't heard not one African-American got a pardon. All I'm hearing about is 10, 20, and 30 white folks getting pardon signed. And if I don't get my motherfucking disability money, it's going to be some motherfucking shit. Because I'm tired of y'all racist ass white folks acting like you're trying to help us. As soon as we turn our back, you stab us in the fucking back. Y'all need to get y'all shit together. The hip hop icons tweet fed falls in line with a sentiment Sean Diddy Combs recently shared during an interview with Naomi Campbell when he called for black people to hold off giving Joe Biden and Democrats support until the black community issues and needs are addressed. We want to know very clearly, just like Trump made it clear that he wanted to build a wall, Biden needs to make it clear that he's going to change the lives and quality of life of the black and brown people. Well, Diddy shouldn't say or include other people. You should just concentrate on your people right now. Further reading, Diddy says, or else he can't get the vote. I will hold the votes hostage if I have to. Now, we, we got to hold Puffy and all of these other guys accountable too. Because they'll talk a lot of shit. And they'll get to a certain point, And then they'll sell out. And then we in the same bucket that we in right now. And they making speeches. In an interview on Campbell's web series. 
no filter with Naomi, Diddy declared the black vote ain't free. More people seem to be following this belief after the presumptive presidential Democrats interview on the Breakfast Club with Charlemagne the God. You know why that's true? Because people like Kamala Harris too busy selling pussy. People like Gail King, too busy selling defamation. People like Oprah Winfrey, too busy sustain, stop, block, or show racism towards their own kind. And y'all keep fucking awarding them, giving them more and more money, more and more TV shows, more and more women on these talk show hosts, shows, and men ain't got a fucking thing paying child support homeless and that just goes to show you that y'all bitches don't know what the fuck y'all talking about y'all don't give a fuck about nobody but yourself i know guys that's homeless still paying child support and then i hear this girl yesterday yelling at this other guy talking about he shouldn't have gave her a phone number if he knew that he had a fucking girl that they was constantly involved this shit goes on all the time this shit goes on all the time. Three bitches left me for married men. They not married. I'm single. I can't get no pussy because everybody's selling pussy. You bitches need to go uh, take mental health counseling, not me. And we're going to go further on this topic because y'all need to know what the real deal is. And we need to hold these guys accountable.